Welcome to the finals of Chobo League. Mighty versus Agistol, going by Aegis. Upper right hand corner, Mighty as the red Terran, bottom left hand corner. Aegis as the pink Zerg. This is, is this on Eclipse? I don't think this is on Eclipse. Might be on Eclipse. <laughs> I should have looked at Polypoid. I think this is on Polypoid. Remembering the map. Should be an exciting one. Agistol has been doing what Zergs do to Terran and just wrecking face. He's faced several Terran up to this stage and with his early Zergling play, that's what's gotten him into these finals. Mighty, on the other hand, I feel like he just kind of rolled through a bunch of Protoss opponents, so he might be at a disadvantage. Particularly because his style of play seems to be seal in your front door and don't get eyes on your opponent and kind of play your game from there. Overlord headed to the bottom right-hand corner. At cross positions, it'll be a later scout. And keep in mind, I don't know that Agis is going to be able to get a scout inside of Mighty's base with what he's doing here. Not sure that it'll matter, though. This is a ramped map. Mighty has oftentimes played very passive, so it is also possible that whatever shenanigans that Aegis is up to, it's not going to work out because of just the very, very passive defensive playstyle of Mighty. Extractor plopping down with that spawning pool. Overlord being produced. I think this is an overpool looking at it, and we are going to see again an early Zergling Flood. And with that ramp and with this front door seal... Ooh, gas take for Mighty. Right off the bat, rather than saving for an initial barracks or anything along those lines. So actually maybe opting for mech here. Mech style build. Full cadre of Zerglings being produced. I'm curious if we're going to see... The big indicator is whether we see three SCVs go into this immediately. Yeah, three SCVs in there. So probably going to see a mech build. Drone scout moving out. Drones pulled off gas. Speed is upgrading. Big investment early. And only one Marine on the ground otherwise. And keep in mind, when you go mech like this... Another SCV pulling off gas, actually. So, halting there. Does he think he's playing against a Protoss? This almost looks like a, a V Protoss build. Yeah, okay, there's the factory, but he's pulled everything else off gas. Maybe this is he knows who he's up against. And he's like, you know what? I want an early Vulture to deal with the Zerglings. Clever. He's like, you know what? I, well, I've seen what Agisil's done. I know what he's up to. But critically, he's only got one Marine and an SCV to defend his front door against all of these Zerglings. Another supply depot being built behind it. That corner is being worked against. The Zerglings are backing off. Zergling speed is not being canceled. Second Marine is being built. <laughs> I like the extra padding from Mighty. This is what I mean by very passive play. Agistol taking his natural expansion. And yeah, I, I almost... I gotta respect this. So, factory plopping down. I, I want to see if it's a vulture produced right off the bat. Because if... Yeah. Because here's the thing. You get a vulture or two out there, those zerglings get wrecked. And that might be GG right there. This is one of... That's preparation for the opponent right there. Zerglings being put to good use for ages to try to sneak out. Get views on the rest of the expansions. Four marines have been produced. And honestly, this could turn into... Almost like a timing attack. Machine shot plopped down. The vulture wandering out. That is Zergling speed for those Zerglings. So it's not going to be as easy as it would have been otherwise. But that is going to force them back in a very defensive spot. As soon as speed is upgraded for those vultures, this is going to be Danger Town for Agistil all the way around. He needs to get a Hydro. He does have a Hydro stun down. As a follow-up, though, we know Agistil likes those early game presses, and I'm almost wondering if he's going to go for a Hydralisk build to follow this up. However, pounding away that Supply Depot in the interim. However, Starport is being built. The Wraith is about halfway finished. And the Armory being plopped down, and these Overlords, yeah. Overlords at risk now. There are Hydralisks there to greet them. But this is going to put Agistil very much on the defensive. With this amount of Marines... And everything that Agistol needs to defend, it's, yeah, it could turn into a very interesting mid-game. 
I like the variety. Mines being upgraded before speed. Very interesting. So seeing the uh, 111, or pseudo 111, from Mighty against two base Hydra going into Lurker here. Zerglings seeing vultures on the front, but not getting a lot of other scouting information. Goliath to follow. Hydralisks are there to help defend against defend these overlords, but it's only one Hydralisk at the natural. I don't see any Hydralisks at the main, and that early tech to lair is getting scouted. The Hydralisk is enough. Ooh, is that Wraith going to get wiped out? No. The Hydralisk should be enough. Oh, it's still trying to get that overlord. Taking a lot of base damage. And knocked out of the air. Plenty, though. Provided good scouting information there. Interesting. So, rather than pressing off this, there's a transition into a Vulture drop. With mines, no speed, siege check being upgraded, and a command center being plopped down. For Mighty. And we do have a delay. Here's the thing. That was two hatched layer, right? Plus Hydralisk range being upgraded. That's going to slow down any sort of Lurker tech following. I'm curious if Aegis saw this dropship coming. Third hatch in his base. He needs, honestly, more units on the ground to deal with this. Mighty's certainly going to get some drone kills. Zergling's moving up. Hydralisks there. Are, where are the mines? Mines plop down. Overlord's still in position to deal with this. Oh, the mines going towards the Zerglings rather than the Hydralisks. Now on top of the Hydralisk. This is the one problem with mines versus Zerg is, is you have those Overlords in position. Also, Hydralisks are pretty beefy against Vulture, but still getting a good amount of kills there. That's seven kills overall. Most of those are Zerglings, though. Spots the third hatch. So at the very least, as the scouting information, another Hydralisk... One mine for one Hyvalus. Not the best, but there's no other units on the ground currently. Hyvalus just popping out the natural. This is a lot of larvae that needs to be on defense. And several drones getting wiped out. This is... Wow. I like this from Mighty. He's... I think he's out Agistoling Agistol a little bit here. Keeping him on his toes. Lurker aspect almost finished. Zergling preventing that command center from being landed. Now some units moving out. We do have an engineering bay. Agistil still sitting at... Actually plopping down a spire to follow this up as well. Siege tank. Some additional marines. Dropship back at home. If Agistil went for his characteristic all-in to follow this up, maybe he'd still be able to do a bust. But it looks like instead he is powering drones. And is looking for is playing more defensively and is looking for more of mid game play. I don't think this is where he's comfortable. At least that has not been how he's been comfortable in any match up to this stage. Period. Turret in place just in case there was some sort of lurker harass. One lurker at the natural expansion to provide. This is a very skeleton defense for Agistil as well. Mighty supply blocking himself at sixty. Has additional factories plopping down. Yeah, and is going pure mech to follow this up. Getting his third expansion at the 9 o'clock base. That'll be the fourth hatchery overall. And I worry about Agistil right here. Because first of all, it's significantly behind in supply. Two evolution chambers plopping down. But usually against mech, what you want is you want to have just a large amount of something. Lurker getting wiped out before it's even able to burrow on that front door. I think he was hoping for like some modicum of a contain. But instead, he, yeah... Mighty has a big supply lead on him, has a big economic lead on him, and is transitioning into a mid-game mech push. More vultures moving in the natural expansion. No hydralisks to speak of, no mutalisks to speak of that I see to engage this. Forcing these drones to be in flight. Another one dropping on the main. Some mines being planted. The Zergling should be able to clean that up. Does manage to get a Hydralisk with that mine, not before that Vulture was killed. In doing more economic disruption on Agistol, and this is just... Oof. This is just kind of uh, 
frosting on the cake, right? Because Mighty is very close to having enough Goliaths where he can start pushing out. And I don't see... This is just not enough mass. Ad is still going for Hive Tech immediately to follow this up. I don't think it's going to be in place in time. Because maybe if he can get Dark Swarm, that helps a lot. Dark Swarm and Plague help a lot against Mech. But he just doesn't have the raw economy to make this work otherwise. Third base is up. Drones just being produced to deal with this. But he... Yeah, he doesn't have... How many? Let's try to get a look at his army here. Four, five. He's got five Hydralisks and a Zergling to his name right now. And is trying to take his fourth expansion while Mighty is moving out, not just to, not just to take an expansion, but with an army that honestly can just straight up kill Aegis. Just straight up kill him. And they are bearing down on that nine o'clock location. Three Hydralisks does not cut it against this. So before this hive is even able to produce any sort of tech, I think this base is going to get wiped out. Creep colony plopping down. I think it, <laughs> Aegis realizing the situation. Interesting. Mighty floundering a little bit. Here's the thing with this is when you have... When you go with mech, you need to hurry it up and not give Zerg any breathing room. Although I don't think it's going to cost him anything. Because he's still sitting at twice the supply of Aegis in the mid game. He's just done such an effective job of harassing everything. One Hydralisk, one Sunken Colony. Sorry, four Hydralisk, one Sunken Colony. Siege tanks on the low ground. The Goliaths alone can deal with this. The Siege tanks actually able to hit that Sunken Colony from the corner. So it is a null entity here. And just in case Aegis was going to go for a counterattack... A lot of mines there at the natural expansion to deal with any sort of counterattack. So that's one base down, three to go. Drones are mining there. It, it, one thing with this army is it is slow. Aegis, unfortunately, in the red. He's trying to get adrenal gland upgrades to make those zerglings a little bit more powerful. Getting an ultralist cavern rather than... Hmm. Getting an ultralist cavern rather than... At a Filer Mount. I don't think he has the economy to make Ultralisks work. He does have more Hydralisks and things on the ground. Mighty taking... Actually just straight up taking this 12 o'clock base rather than his mineral only. He does need that additional gas. This is Mighty's game to lose at this stage. The one thing I will say though is you do not want to give Aegis any sort of breathing room. Because he seems to be able to pull things out. How was Hydralist checking out that 9 o'clock base? Perhaps for an opportunity there. This dropship empty, scouting things out. I don't know if it saw that drone in that bottom right-hand corner or not. Aegis realizing that he needs just raw economy to make this work is getting kind of a corner base that if that gets attacked, you know, that's the thing. Mech can't be everywhere at once. Ultralist Cavern upgrading. But again, I just don't think he has the units. Dropship dying instantaneously, but does spot that natural expansion. And this is a huge mech force with level 1 weapons, level 1 armor. Starting to make its way across the map. <laughs> so we can getting a little bit of damage. Actually halfway damage on that vulture. Mighty can just, yeah. He can just start pushing and ending the game right now. And I think he realizes he's in that situation now. A smattering of upgrades for Aegis. But he just doesn't have... I still don't think he has the background economy to make it happen. Siege tanks gathering up. From the northern edge. Vultures in the forward position just in case Zerglings are trying to push through. Pushing into that mineral only expansion and now has a solid steel wall in between both locations. Hydralis trying to engage that corner tank, managing one siege tank down, but melting for the rest of this map. All sorts of skeletal remains on that mound. One Ultralist out, but it, yeah, not the answer. There's GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Game one goes to Mighty. Out Agistol and Agistol. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.